think I care. I don't care anymore. Quit hitting me. I've lost my mind. Quit hitting me. You don't need to give a f That's cool. I got video proof of you doing this. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. Let me leave. You have me blocked in. Let me leave. You're kidnapping me. Let me leave. Leave me alone. Let me leave. I'm about to say something ignorant. Then I'm going to get into the, like, the serious, the serious thing. So, now, I don't do this anymore because this is not good for you. But back in the day when I used to watch the blues movies, right, I used to love it when the white women got... In they they hit that demonic voice. I Y'all know what I'm talking about. They hit that demonic voice when you you know what I'm saying? When when when, when things is getting touched right. Yeah they, they do that right there. So you you heard how she hit that demonic voice just now. Oh Lord. Guys, please don't come for me. I'm just playing, okay? Um, oh, is it a one way? Is it like one way in or one way out? You feel what I'm saying? Because can he get in the car and back up? If he can't get in the car and back up, then damn, she's wrong. But in a lot of these situations, bro, be antagonizing these bitches to just so they could put it on camera. Now, I'm not saying that she she is wrong for keying this man's car, and he does need proof. My thing is. Get your proof and get the hell on. There was another video I was um I reacted to where they was at the gas station and she was like, yo, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I'm like, bro, you have all this proof already. Drive off. Like, why are you still there? Pull your camera out, get the proof, then get the hell on. Okay? Let's not sit around and, and antagonize the situation anymore. If you see an opportunity to leave, leave. work having PTSD, son. She giving this lady PTSD at work. Oh my God. Low key, man. Low key. It's all fun and games until she take your ass to HR. Be careful now. You're a coward. You know what? It's your homie. That's your homie. What's this I'll shoot. your homie. Your boy said... What you saying? Boy, I, I shoot. What, what you saying? Let me tell y'all something, dog. When you going at it with somebody, go at it with the person that you have the issue with. Leave the bystanders alone. That's how you get your head knocked off your body. On the flip side of this, if you see a conflict happening, a fight, mind your business. Don't go trying to break fights up. I'm, I'm just being honest with you because... From my experience, the innocent person usually the ones to get hurt the worst. It's my birthday. Birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, girl. Thank you. Oh, dude. 30? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was just guessing. No, because I told her that at the house. <laughs> You're 30? No, 20. 20? It's my 20, yeah. yeah. He wrong for that. What's your birthday wish? I'm gonna be rich, but that's like not realistic. Well, hey. Speaking of rich, let's say a guy came up to you and was like, hey, I pay all your debt if you sleep with me. Would you do it? No, absolutely not. What? There's no way. I just can't get... Yo, look at her friend looking at her. Not for the one time? Not for the one time. Look at her friend looking at her. Her friend finna say, you lying. What about you, baby? I wouldn't do it either, no. You, now you, Not you asking me if I wouldn't do it or you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I feel no. like you would do it before me, though. Y'all go on dates? No. No, not really, no. My friend Slick Hayden. Like three, four months ago. Damn, you, are you that ugly or what? We are done, Thomas. No, but like, hey. But like, I just be at work. But guys don't ask around or what? No. Brings out here. It's my birthday. She really said guys don't ask her friend out? Her friend is attractive. I don't 
don't know. Maybe I'm reading in, into it too much, but he definitely, he out there wilding, bro. He's saying whatever came to mind. She wasn't ugly, and she definitely didn't look dirty. I don't know. Maybe her, the skirt or whatever it is she had on or the pants, but she didn't look old. And for my, what is wrong with dirty? Like, what? My daughter teacher called me and she said, hey, I'm just calling because, you know, they're supposed to turn their phones in and receive them back at the end of the day. And I caught your daughter with her phone. She's 11. I caught your daughter with her phone and um, she said she didn't have the phone. She just had the case. Later on, I found out that she actually had the phone. So I took the phone and um, I'm going to give it back to you, to her to bring home but if it happens again we're going to keep it i said no 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 that's that's not going to happen let me tell you what's going to happen i said you're going to take that phone and you're going to keep it i said I, I don't care how long you keep it it can be for seven days or 30 days that's your discretion because what she needs to do is learn to respect you and she needs to learn to stop lying to you so yeah, that phone is yours. We laughed at it, and then I got off the phone. I never said anything else to my daughter. When she hey. Is there a ring on her finger? It looks like there's a ring on her finger. Shout out to her for being a logical mom, bro. I've seen videos. Matter of fact, videos. When I was in high school, parents used to, Not high school. Not high school. No, no, no. Because my high school, my f on that. When I was in junior high school, parents used to come up there ready to fight the teachers because the teachers took the cell phone away from the kids. Now, mind you, back then, we didn't have all these fancy-ass phones that we have now. You feel me? Um, I think the fanciest thing we had when I was in high school, do we even have psychics yet? I don't even think we had psychics yet, dog. Nah, I think psychics, yeah, psychics got popping when I was in eighth grade. But yeah, bro, shout out to her for being a logical mom. That's, that's what's up, man. We need more videos like this. Logical mom. She's probably a great wife. Great person. I don't even know how I'm dressed down. Well, you should have seen me last night how I was dressed. Oh, yeah? Looking like a whole thought thought. Looking like a whole thought thought. I was fucking popping, dropping, locking it on Snapchat last night naked. Oh. Yeah. You're like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Girl, okay. the caption, hold on. Get to the red light here. Hold the phone. Hold it. Hold the phone. Look good. Snapchat video. Good old Uber. Good old Uber, man. I remember when I was doing Uber. Now I ain't doing nothing with nobody. You feel what I'm saying? But it was it was some instances where the kitty was definitely being thrown at me. It was instances where the kitty was being thrown at me. And then I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to hit him with the, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm married. I'm married. But <laughs> if you've never done Uber before, I would say just try it. On the weekends or something like that, just do Uber like once a weekend. Just to go out and meet people and have a fun experience. Now, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's, it depends on the city you live in because you might live in a city where... There's a chance somebody might carjack you or some shit like that. If you feel as though you live in that type of city, don't do it. But I love picking up white people when I did Uber. I'm gonna be, I'm being, a, I'm gonna be a hundred percent transparent with you. Like, I love picking up white folks when I did Uber, bro, because the stories were epic. Y'all know when white folks get drunk, they get drunk. Like they really know how to party. Just imagine a drunk white couple in your car. Just imagine. A bunch of white girls that were drunk. Oh, and Hispanic people too. Hispanic people also. Hispanic people also. Pick up some Hispanic people in an Uber. It's lit. 